This time on Screencast a week, I show you how to use one password to log into applications, not just websites, without taking your hands off the keyboard. Hi, I'm Kevin Yank, and welcome to Screencast a week, a short weekly video to help you use your technology better. I'd love to get your support, so visit me at patreon.com slash screencast a week if you'd like to become a supporter. Something you're going to hear a lot from me here on Screencast a Week is keeping your hands on the keyboard. Because you get to use all 10 fingers when your hands are on the keyboard, you can get a lot more done quickly. And it's especially good to avoid having to move your hands back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse. So for things that you do a lot, it's great if you can get them done with your hands on the keyboard. Today we're going to look at 1Password, which is an app that I recommend to all Mac and iOS users. It's a great place to store all of your secure information from credit card numbers to strong, unique passwords for every website that you use. 1Password users will be used to using it to log into a website. So when you're on a login page like this, you can just hit command backslash and 1Password will fill in your unique login for that website and log you straight in. It's real time saver and it's way more secure than having to remember all of your passwords in your head. Now, when you first start using 1Password, you might make the mistake of thinking of it only as a system for tracking your website login, but you can use it for application logins too. Let me show you how this works using iTunes. Here I am in a fresh new copy of iTunes, say it's on a new computer, and I want to log in and download some of my music from my iTunes store account. I'll click sign in here and it prompts me for my login. Now, if at this point I hit command backslash, just like I do in my browser, nothing happens. And that's because iTunes doesn't have the 1Password extension the same way my web browser does. Now it's easy enough to type in my email address, but when I hit tab and get to the password field, now this is the point where people usually think, okay, I have to remember my iTunes store password by heart. And that leads people to use really weak passwords for their Apple ID, perhaps one of the most important passwords you have as a Mac user. Now, while it's true you can't invoke the 1Password extension, what you can use is 1Password Mini. And all you have to do is add the Option key to that keyboard shortcut you already know. So Option Command Backslash brings up 1Password Mini. It's a mini version of the 1Password application, and you can get at all of your information really quickly using the keyboard. So if I type Apple ID, my Apple ID turns up in the search, and then I can hit the right arrow key, and it automatically selects the password field, so I can hit Enter to copy it to my clipboard, and then Command V to paste it straight into iTunes. 1Password will even clear your clipboard after a short period so that that sensitive information isn't left lying around where other applications might get at it. Now that was pretty quick, but I can do it even quicker using favorites. If I switch back to my 1Password application here and I find my Apple ID, there it is. If I click this star icon here, it adds it to my favorites. So if I click the favorites list over here on the left, my Apple ID is now on this sh short list of logins that I use more frequently. And because my Apple ID is the one I'm going to use the most, I'm going to click it and drag it straight to the top of the list. Now if I close one password and go back into iTunes, and I'll blank out the password field here. Now if I invoke one password mini with option command backslash, I can just hit the right arrow on my favorites and my Apple ID is right there at the top of the list where I need it. I'll hit right arrow again, enter to copy it, command V to paste, and there we go. I've logged into my iTunes store account without ever taking my fingers off the keyboard and I did it using a strong unique password stored in one password. Have a look around your Mac and find any other applications that you frequently have to type passwords into and add them to your 1Password favorites where you can get at them with 1Password Mini. While you're at it, check out this blog post on the 1Password blog which talks about even more keyboard shortcuts that are available in 1Password Mini. That's it for Screencast a Week this week. Remember to visit patreon.com slash screencast a week to become a supporter and to get every episode early. I really appreciate it. I'll be right back here next week with another Screencast a Week. And until then, thanks for watching.